Many folks struggle with debt, and some are able to figure out a system to pay it off on their own. Others have a hard time figuring out the best payoff process for them. That's why many folks turn to debt management programs to help them out. But do these really work? Are they worth it? You're listening to Queer Money episode 258, and we're again joined by Howard Devorkin. Howard's the chairman of Debt.com, a promoter of our credit card payoff plan to pay off credit card debt super fast, and the founder of Consolidation Credit. Howard originally joined us on Queer Money episodes 226 and 238 when we talked about bankruptcy and debt settlement. Today, we're getting the 411 on debt management. Howard's the author of two books, Credit Hell and Power Up. With over 25 years in the industry, Howard's a great resource for information, for credit counseling, and Debt.com's a great platform to connect with all the resources Howard and his team offer. Remember, if you have money questions or suggestions for show topics, ask in the Queer Money Facebook group, and we'll follow up with answers or a show to cover your question. Now let's get on to our topic today, debt management. There's personal finance for the masses. This is not personal finance for the masses. This is Queer Money. This podcast is sponsored by Capital One. Capital One is redesigning the banking experience by offering simple, straightforward, and seamless ways for you to bank from almost anywhere. So banking fits into your life, not the other way around. Join our movement to build a community of happier, healthier, and wealthier gay men by getting your free copy of the five building blocks of a happy gay life at debtfreeguys.com forward slash happy. Welcome back to another episode of Queer Money. As many of you, those of you who've been paying attention, we've been doing a series (laughs) on strategies or ways of paying off debt with our partners, Debt.com and Howard Dworkin of Debt.com. And today we're going to talk about debt management. So welcome, Howard, back to the show. We're excited to have you again. Thank you for having me. I'm really happy to be here. Nice. Thank you. So to kind of get this discussion started, can you elaborate on what debt management is exactly? Sure. Debt management is basically an organized manner to liquidate your debts in a much faster time than you would if you're paying the minimum payments that the creditors want you to pay. Essentially, debt management is a way to eliminate or significantly reduce the interest rates that you're paying. Typically, when you're playing the minimum payment game, 75% of your payment goes towards interest. With a good debt management plan, like the one offered by Debt.com, we are able to go through and kind of flip that on its head, where 25% of your payment goes towards interest and maybe 75% goes towards reducing principal. And thus, you're going to get out of debt in a much faster period of time. Typical consumers who enter a debt management plan liquidate their debt within a three to four year period, sometimes faster, sometimes a little longer. But at the end of the day, Debt.com and its partners try to eliminate as much interest as possible so most of your payment goes towards principal and gets you out of debt fast with limited damage to your credit reports. Nice. And what types of debt can people include in their debt management system? Is it all kinds of debt from student loans to auto loans, or is it specifically credit cards? It's mostly unsecured debt, meaning it's mostly credit card debt, some medical bills, and also installment lending. Secured loans such as an auto or a house, that's a whole different ballgame. Because at the end of the day, if you try to change the rules on the repayment of that, they take the item, meaning they'll take your house, they'll take your car. Student loans, a lot of that is regulated by the government, and the government has all sorts of powers to lower the interest rates themselves, consolidate the loans. But also, if you default, they also have the ability to turn around and garnish your wages, and there is no statute of limitations on that debt. So it's not a smart thing to put into a debt management plan. Gotcha. How's debt management different than debt settlement, or is there some overlap there? Well, there's a little bit of overlap. Frankly, the payments are going to be a little higher 
with a debt management plan, but in uh, exchange, it's not going to destroy your credit. With a debt settlement plan, your payments may be lower, but your credit is going to be destroyed and there's a very good chance you're going to get sued. But your payments are lower and frankly, for certain people, it's a much better plan. However, I always believe that a debt management plan is the first place you should try and talk to our debt.com partners, and they're going to help you determine which plan is the proper plan for you. It almost seems to me like there's maybe less negative impact in debt management than debt settlement because, in essence, you're just figuring out a way to pay what you're supposed to have paid for, right? I mean, it's kind of like you're saying, okay, I'm going to commit to paying off what I bought or what I have acquired, so I'm kind of doing the right thing, so, so to speak. All you're doing with a debt management plan is changing the repayment terms, and renegotiating the interest rates. You're going to pay 100% of what you owe, and that's why you don't get the negative impact on your credit history. You're just paying it differently. You're paying less interest, and you're paying more principal, and you're going to stretch that payment over different terms. The payment amount on a debt management plan could be 30 to 50% less than what you're paying using the minimum payment game right. that the people that your creditors are telling you to pay. So there are tremendous benefits, limited negativity as long as you keep your credit cards current. The fact of the matter is that you can always go, if the debt management plan doesn't work, it can always roll into a debt settlement plan. And if that doesn't work, you can always go further into a bankruptcy if you need it to. However, people should always talk to a certified credit counselor to get the right guidance on the right plan so they don't get themselves in trouble. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think if you kind of have kept track of these episodes, so episode 226 where we talked about bankruptcy, then episode 238 where we talked about debt settlement, and now this episode, 250, where we're talking about debt management, you can kind of see that progression, right? That it's probably going to be the individual who's in the most dire situation that's going to need the help with bankruptcy. And I will say, sometimes our situations feel like they're a dire situation. And that's why you may want to talk to someone to actually get a true analysis. But then up from that, you have maybe someone who has a little bit of capacity, an ability to pay back what they owe with debt settlement, and then debt management have even more of a capacity. So you want to take a true look at your situation and get the right kind of assistance to determine which one is best for you. Well, the, the fact of the matter is it's the degrees of debt, I think, is really what it comes down to. And to get out of debt, you really have five choices. Choice one is keep doing what you're doing and make the minimum payments, which that's a long game. Frankly, that's not too pleasant because you may have had a meal 10 years earlier at a restaurant and guess what? You're still, still making paying. payments on yeah, that right. <laughs> meal. So it's not so much fun. Been there, a debt done that. management plan, <laughs> right. A debt management plan is another option, which we're talking about, which makes essentially you're going to the creditor and saying, Hey, Mr. Creditor, I want to pay a hundred percent of what I owe you. I just need some help. So I don't have to pay this for the 30 years. A debt Settlement is a plan where you basically spend, you pay 40 cents on the dollar, but in the interim, you destroy your credit report and your credit history, and you may get sued, but you're saving money. And the monthly payments are less in a debt settlement plan than they are in a debt management plan, but there's repercussions. Then there's bankruptcy, which is 
could be the complete liquidation of your debt, but not always because there's different flavors of bankruptcy where you may make one payment, you may have to still make payments similar to a debt settlement plan, but then there's also chapter seven, which is the complete liquidation of your debt. And then there's always the ostrich. (laughs) <laughs> the ostrich method, which is you stick your head in the ground and hope your debt goes away, but that doesn't work so much. So those are the five flavors of debt relief. And the ostrich system, I've seen too many people do it, and they pull their head out after a year, and uh, guess what? They stick their head back in the sand for another Damn five years. Right. So that's not always the best way to get out of debt. <laughs> right. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Capital One's checking and savings accounts have no fees and no minimums. And with one of the best saving rates in America, you can rest easy watching your money grow with no fees to bring you down. You can open an account in about five minutes, which means you are only about five minutes away from getting your savings to grow with one of the nation's best rates. If I'm going through a debt management system, am I prohibited from applying for additional credit cards or other loans? That's a great question. First of all, I know that our partners will not allow our clients to get more credit cards. And frankly, if you're trying to pay off your credit on one side, but you're charging up on the other, you're basically on the treadmill of debt. You're not going to get out of debt anytime soon. So typically, the lenders don't allow you to apply for new credit and don't allow you to get new credit issue to you. Mm -hmm. And if you do, you violate the terms of the debt management plan. But typically, lenders will not allow that. And frankly, it's logical to say you're not doing yourself any good if you're trying to pay down on one side and charge up on the other. Um, I will tell you that people can buy cars and still buy houses on a debt management plan, it may take a letter from one of our partners or us to effectuate that, but it is not prohibited as long as you're doing something for good debt. Mm -hmm. Good debt versus bad debt, there's big differences. A house is a good debt. You're building equity. You're spending money on something that hopefully is worth more in the future. Bad debt is a credit card. You know, you go to JC Penny and you charge. Are they even in business? I'm not even sure they're in business <laughs> anymore. Like but right hanging now. on there. You know what? <laughs> you 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 sit there and you buy the latest fashions at JC Penny, and guess what? A year later, it's just sitting in your closet because it's not the latest fashion. And uh, 10 years later, you're still paying it because store credit cards charge a much higher interest than regular visas or MasterCards. So at the end of the day, you can't get out of debt if you're charging up. I mean, in a perfect world, I would never want to see people buy a house or buy a car while they're in a credit counseling program. That being said, I'm a realist. People need to live. They need a place to live. They need a transportation to get to work. So that is permissible. But charging up credit cards, that's just not smart. So you mentioned the possible need for a letter if you if you do need to buy a home or a car. Does that indicate then that if I'm going through debt management that there is some indication on my credit report that I'm going through that process? Great question. Typically... Most creditors don't report anything. Some creditors on your credit report, they still mark you as good credit, but some creditors put you on the uh, notation on your credit report that you're in credit counseling. And this is, in my opinion, deemed a responsible mark on your credit report because it's saying, hey, I knew I had a problem. I was in debt. I didn't want it to take 30 years to pay off. I went through and found another way out in order to get my debt resolved, and I'm a much better person for it. I didn't file bankruptcy. I didn't do debt settlement. I turned around and did this. Now, this is not on every creditor. It's on a few creditors. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's not deemed a negative, and frankly, I could point to thousands of people that have gotten mortgages 
while in credit counseling. So yeah. it's not really that big of a deal, gotcha. that mark on your, somebody's credit report. Awesome. So what what is the process of pursuing debt management and how can Debt.com help our listeners? All you got to do is visit Debt.com, whether hopefully go through your link or your phone number and they can visit Debt.com and we're going to take extra special care because we like you guys and you're <laughs> our partners. But the fact of the matter is they could go to our site. They're going to put in their information preliminarily and they're going to get transferred most likely to a credit counseling agency that will then determine which is the right path for you to take. And that's extremely important because debt management isn't the right thing for everybody. Debt settlement isn't the right thing for everybody. And certainly bankruptcy is definitely <laughs> not the right thing for everybody. Absolutely. And to Howard's point, if you want to call debt.com, the 800 number is 844-334-7813. Again, that's 844-334-7813. Or you can go to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 250 and uh, click over to debt.com and find a potential debt management company that can help you. Thank you so much, Howard, for joining us again for another episode of Queer Money. This is always enlightening and we're pleased to have you. Thanks so much for having me and we really enjoy being on your show and look for some great things ahead. Thank you. How does your bank support the LGBT community? Not at all? For Pride in June? Or 365 days a year? Capital One proudly supports the LGBT community throughout the year. Maybe it's time to support a bank that supports us. Go to debtfreeguys.com forward slash cafe for more info. Queer Money is being brought to you in part by the five building blocks of a happy gay life. Join the growing community of happy, healthy, and wealthy gay men who love their lives inside and out. Get your free copy of the five building blocks of a happy gay life at debtfreeguys.com forward slash happy. Thank you, Howard, for another great interview on Queer Money. Thank you, our listeners, for joining us for another show. Here's your Queer Money takeaway for this episode. As you heard, debt management may be the way to make your debt go away, but there's a lot to know about the debt management programs out there. That's why we suggest either calling 844 844- 334-7813 or going to debtfreeguys.com forward slash 258 to connect with debt.com to get all your questions answered before making any decision. Remember, if you have money questions or suggestions for show topics, ask in the Queer Money Facebook group and we'll follow up with answers or a show to cover your question. Thanks again for listening. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.